He's been dodging the military draft for eight years and he knows that he could be forced into the army on any day. If deemed fit enough, not attending university and with no young family, then every man in Russia between the age of 18 and 27 is expected to serve a year in the military. It is a terrifying prospect for many. We first left Moscow when I was 18 and we were very afraid. We lived in hiding and even learnt to recognise when a police car was coming by the specific sound of their tyres. This is what frightens men like Nikolai. It's known as hazing or didovshina in Russian. It's described as a military code of violence. An often systematic bullying of new recruits that rights groups say sometimes pushes men to take their own lives. Official statistics are rarely released, but the military says 149 soldiers committed suicide in 2009 alone. Nikolai describes the lengths many families go to prevent their children from doing military service. Many of my friends' parents began changing their medical records from a young age. That way, when they reached draft age, their record would show a condition or illness, making them unfit to serve. This is a military recruitment centre in Moscow. Now, every year, the military struggles to find the number of recruits that it needs. In 2011, just under 12% of men between the ages of 18 and 27 were eligible for recruitment. But according to the Ministry of Defence, 60% of them were deemed unfit for military service. Russia's military stands at around a million. Analysts say ending the violence in its ranks remains a problem because of unfinished reforms. The problem is very, very serious. Many officers were fired. And at the same time, new surgeons, uh, new junior officers didn't appear. As a result, the problem of discipline within a uh, barrack room still exists. The autumn recruitment period has begun and Nikolai faces up to two years in jail for dodging the draft, for avoiding a year in an army that wants more men, but according to defence experts, needs serious reform and must stop the violence within. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Moscow.